Hey guys, it's Feed Me Friday. You guys should have known I was going to do this one. Look at that. I put some sriracha on it. It's one of the peppers. I don't think the peppers were as hot as um, I thought. They might be the wrong... Oh, yes, they are. Ooh. 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 Maybe I should have boiled them soft. <laughs> My favorite buy, blueberry. I set that right there. No, I set it right here. Nah, shit. I set it right there. All right. Salad. Let's give... This a little flavory taste. Oh, this looks so good, you guys. It looks pretty close to um, what you get at the Japanese steakhouse. Looks good. Smells like it. So, And if you buy them at the store, they're so full of sugar. That's really good. Mmm. Fresh tasting, too. Yummy. Come on. All right. I didn't grab a napkin. Oh, well. All right. Look at that. That is good. That is really, really good. Get this broccoli. Of course, you know, it's not going to taste like that you got it from the Chinese restaurant right down the street from you. It's not going to taste like that. But I'm going to tell you, it's pretty close. It is pretty close. And chances are I'll do these chicken tenders again. They're really good really good so as you all know for the last few vlogs I've been talking about how I've been um, losing subscribers and I really shouldn't put <clears throat> A lot of thought into that but it does kind of hurt me a little bit because I'm trying to self-diagnose why people are leaving now I've been on YouTube for three years and it kind of breaks my heart that people who haven't been doing this that long I have so many more videos, I'm sorry, so many more subscribers than I do. I ain't eating that. Although I'm happy for them, I, I start to question why I don't. What is it that I don't have that everybody else has? So I start to, I start to bash myself and it always starts with my looks. <clears throat> Do people not watch me because I might not be as pretty as this person or I don't promote 
products or uh, I don't know this is this is the self talk that I do when I try to understand what it is that I'm doing wrong because in my mind I must be doing something wrong um I do spend a lot of time editing I don't spend a ton of time editing up here on my videos you'll see a thing called kind master or kind keen master whatever it's called and that's what that's the app that I use on my phone to edit my videos I've seen several other youtubers use it it's easy to use I don't have the editing software that I do on my computer. I don't do it on my computer. Everything I do, I do on my phone. So then I start to ask myself, is it because I don't have a drone or because I don't um, do a day in the life? I'm pre my life's pretty boring, you guys. All my kids are grown. I have my last one is getting ready to leave and, and the dog and me. And that's it. And... I lead. If you'd have come in and visited me 20 years ago, it might have been different. But, you know, I just turned 48 in July. So, then I start to think, is it my age? And that's, that can't be true because I know YouTubers out there older than me who have a lot of subscribers. So, it's definitely not my age. So, I always go back to my appearance. Is it my appearance? I don't do up a whole bunch of makeup. I don't have the shiniest, whitest teeth. I was a smoker for 30 years. I drink coffee every day. I'm terrified of the dentist, so I don't go to the dentist to get them whitened. I just don't. I see YouTubers who haven't done a video in months months sometimes years who are still getting subscribers it just so I was feeling some kind of way um yesterday or well, day before yesterday I was feeling really down on myself and I haven't felt that way in a very long time not I mean at least since doing keto I haven't felt that way and that's why I mentioned yesterday in my vlog that I know my vlogs are boring and so many of you and some who have been with me throughout you guys really really picked me up yesterday with all of your comments and you made me feel special and reminded me why I do this It all reminded me why I do it. I don't, I don't do it for money. I don't do it for recognition. I don't do it for the millions of potential subscribers. That's not why I do it. I do it because I love what I do. And you guys make, brought me back down and reminded me, you reminded me why. Because I came really close to calling it quits and just saying, why am I doing this if nobody's going to watch? Or if I'm just going to keep losing people, why do I have to keep doing this? 
And then the ones who really mattered came in and reminded me why. And I love all of you for that. And I thank you. Now I'm gonna collect my thoughts. And I'm gonna come back and we're gonna do this Feed Me Friday. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> I needed that kick in the ass from you guys. I really did. I was so close to just calling it quits. And I'm really glad I didn't. Look at that. You guys brought me back down to earth. And I love you for that. I don't ever want to make this journey that I'm on and I don't ever want to make this channel about how many subscribers that I have I never wanted to get to that point never and I got caught up in it and I needed to be kicked back down thanks guys for kicking me I needed it I really did it's not about the fame for me. It's not about the capitalizing on, on keto for me. It isn't. Everybody who commented yesterday, and you all know who you are, I adore you. I really do. My hand is so sweaty I can't hold these chopsticks. <laughs> I hope y'all try this. They're not crunchy anymore. They were really crunchy when I um, uh, flash fried them for the second time. But since they've been sitting in the sauce, they've softened up quite a bit. The salad is really good, too. I didn't even tell you guys what time it was. It's like 10 after 2. I started this whole thing at 1230. <laughs> and I ended up flash fry, or the first fry, I ended up doing five batches. Because you don't want to put too much in the oil because it cools the oil down. And you don't get a good fry and a spit. <laughs> and the second time, maybe, well, the first time I cooked them, I cooked them for about maybe three minutes. Because the coconut flour does brown up pretty fast. Um, I think three minutes for the on the first fry... And the second fry, maybe a minute. Some sriracha right there on that one. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. It was really good. I'm not even going to try to calculate the macros on this. I'm not even going to try. Ooh, that pepper right there. Right with some of the green onion. It's got a great flavor, guys. I did add some um, salt to it after I had put it on my plate. I just, I couldn't taste any salt in there at all. And then I realized I hadn't put any salt in the, um, in the sauce at all. Also... I would maybe steam off the broccoli a little bit first, too, because that was um, straight raw. And I had to cook it a little bit longer, and I really didn't want to do that. And the xanthan gum, I actually had to add some more water because I put too much xanthan gum in it. So, there's that.
This is filling. I need a different pair of chopsticks. These ones are so short. Slippery. I still haven't quite mastered it yet. I still struggle sometimes. But for the most part, I got it down. I need some of those kitty ones that they, they give you that have the rubber band on it. My kids started out with those. They, um, they can use chopsticks now. We used to eat a lot of sushi. <laughs> this is super good. And very, very close to the restaurant style. I don't know why I'm craving Chinese food so much. It's because we can't have it. We just can't. It's, the sauces are way too sugary, way too much sugar in their sauce. And the hubby and I used to have Chinese food at least, at the least twice a month. And I couldn't tell you last time I had Chinese food. Japanese food, yes. Chinese food, no. You guys like the haircut? I think I'm really digging this color. It's kind of like a golden, golden something. Yummy. So, not much left on the plate here. Just a few pieces of chicken. Ooh, excuse me. Chances are this will be the last thing I eat today. I had... Somebody's coming downstairs. You guys want to get on a, on my Feed Me Friday vlog? Oh, Benjamin. We're going swimming. Oh, okay. Is there more here? Yeah. Okay, guys. I'm going to wrap this up. I'm just let you know, I appreciate all of you. Ooh, that was a salty bite. Really salty. But. Okay, guys. Thanks for joining me on a Feed Me Friday. Hopefully I can let this, or have this, this series pick up momentum. But, I love you guys so much. Have a great weekend. Bye.